it's all sort of convoluted and really complicated and sexy. Robert, how has this journey been for you from auditioning up until now, tonight, the premiere? Just totally unexpected. I had to learn how to ride a horse. That wasn't, I'm not good at that. Really? Are you good at that? Actually, I am. Did you grow up doing it? Yes, and I have the scars to prove it. Uh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Fell off a few times? <laughs> I did. That was my fear the whole time. I'm like, this thing's crazy. Naibe Reynoso is back as our co-host candidate. Welcome back, Naibe. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Meeting Barbara Walters, and I just wanted your impression of her. Well, Barbara Walters is very dignified, good, elegant, <laughs> yep, excellent, and soft spoken. Very good. Um, okay. uh, where, where did you come up with those words? That's lovely. She told me right before we got in here. <laughs> Hola, soy Naive Reynoso, y continuamos con esta edición de Escenario. Ahora damos la bienvenida aquí en nuestros estudios de Hollywood a Jenny Rivera, la diva de la banda, Hola, que se bien. encuentra aquí con nosotros. Hola, mucho gusto. Y un buen descanso le puede asegurar que su día sea muy bueno y que rinda mucho más en su trabajo, entre otras cosas. Sobre todo si tiene trabajos tan bien pagados como los que les presentaremos a continuación. I'm Naive Reynoso, right outside the Egyptian Theater, where the Latino International Film Festival is getting ready to kick off its 10th anniversary. So let's see what it's all about. Daily's Naive Reynoso is back with the story. Yeah, thanks, Mike. I was recently on location with Hotwire.com in New Orleans, where I visited a few of the productions now shooting there. Everyone told me they're very proud to be helping the local economy. The classic architecture in New Orleans' French Quarter has provided an excellent backdrop for filming many period movies like Interview with a Vampire. But 11 years after that movie was filmed, a natural disaster almost destroyed the city. Although Katrina left devastation like this in 2005, the movie industry here is flourishing. The city, in terms of the film industry, rebounded very quickly. We were very blessed to have Tony Scott and Jerry Bruckheimer's project Deja Vu. Now that was in pre-production at the time that the storm hit, and the project actually started principal photography in January of 2006. This year alone, more than 10 major movies were shot here, including Patriot starring Isaiah Washington and Forrest Whitaker. The National Hurricane Center has just announced Tropical Storm Katrina is headed for the Mississippi Louisiana coast. I play Al Collins, a true story. He's a coach at John Aaron High who had this basketball team and then Katrina happened and the team was just spread all over everywhere. Right. And he started to pull the team back together, the people back together, make them believe in themselves again. The movie set was near the Ninth Ward where Katrina hit hardest. Where we're standing is base camp where your trailer is, but right in front is a building which looks like this because of Hurricane Katrina. What's so unfortunate is that uh, August 29th will be the third year that this has all transpired, but yet we stand here looking at this. But at the same time, I've also had the fortunate blessing to be a part of a celebration of this city by just being here. The first thing they want to know is what are you filming? And they're very happy that Hollywood actors are coming back to the city. Many productions, especially in the scouting stages, are reaching out to me. They want to know how the city is doing. They've heard of our success in terms of production. And they tell me, we want to come here. Our heart is pulling us to New Orleans. The movie talks a lot about team. It's like a, just a metaphor for people coming together and working together and, and making something happen. Great city. And I also visited the sets of Final Destination 4 and Chess, a movie about Chicago blues music. Our very own impressive reporter, Naive Reynoso, sat down with him. She joins me now. I love me some Helen Mirren. Oh, yeah, and she's actually a really good sport in this movie, Jared. She gets to ride a motorcycle. Really? Pulls it off. Huh. So the whole cast was very excited about the movie, especially Brendan Fraser, who told me about the surprise he received when the author of the book the movie is based on sent him a copy. This is the story you have been waiting to hear. Based on the novel by Cornelia Funk, Inkheart follows the story of Mo Fulchark, played by Brendan Fraser, a man with the ability to bring characters from books to life. I understand that you inspired the actual Mo character when she was writing the book. You know, I read it in an inscription of the novel that she had right. sent me, and I was not aware of who she was, ignorant. It's a dear Brendan, thanks for inspiring this character. Hope you get to read it to your kids one day. XXL, hugs and kisses. Cornelia! I was so flattered, I didn't know how to tell you, so I'm saying, Thank you. The cast also includes British actor Paul Bettany. Dustfinger, traveling fire juggler, magical powers. 
This is a lighter role for you. Well, I wanted to make a movie finally that my children could see. My son happened to be reading the novel at the same time, and so it all sort of seemed to work out for us. British actress Helen Mirren rounds out the all-star cast. She plays Eleanor, the spunky aunt with the comedic flair. I prefer a story that has the good sense to stay on the page where it belongs. How was it to pull that out of her and to make her feel comfortable with, with that side? Well, I had to talk her into it. We had a lot of uh, conversations on the phone, and I have to say, it took me by surprise quite how funny she was. I knew that she had a great sense of humor and was very amusing, but she sort of, you know, surpassed what we expected. Newcomer Eliza Hope Bennett, who plays Fraser's daughter, said working with the all-star cast was a little intimidating. I saw everyone's names, I was like, so it's gonna be me and Brendan Fraser and Paul Bettany and Helen Mirren. I kind of, my name sort of didn't quite fit in with the rest of us. But then I met them and then I realized that they are so down to earth and funny. It made filming so much fun because we were just laughing all the time. I know my characters are so believable that they seem to leap off the page. Fun movie end. Be sure to watch it closely. You'll see Oscar winner Jennifer Conley, who plays an uncredited role as the wife of Paul Bettany's character. The two, of course, are married in real life.